That was a terrific win. A uh, really good basketball game. Both teams competed their tails off. Um, I'm, I'm just so proud of our guys. Uh, first true road game of the year against a quality first class opponent. And the uh, game was kind of back and forth. We had to battle with some foul trouble. Um, but we just we just kind of kept, kept swinging and uh, hung in there. We had some guys. Different guys play well at different part, uh, points of the game, and I thought that was really key. I thought our bench helped us. And, uh, you know, Alabama probably didn't have one of their better shooting nights, and so we were able to to kind of get out of here with a great win. Questions? We're going to start on the right. Like... Okay. Uh, Coach, with about 13 minutes left, Mark Sears had a three to put Alabama up seven. Y'all responded from that with a 13-0 run. What did you kind of say in the huddle, and what led to that run after that? You know, I, we had so many huddles. I don't know if I exactly remember what I said. I just, you know, we need to relax. Like, they're, they're going to punch us in the mouth. We knew that. They're going to have a streak where they make a couple threes back to back. And I told our team, we're built for this. Like, we have an older group. You know, we're experienced. We were a good team last year. We need to weather the storm. And, uh, you know, we tried to throw the ball inside at different times in the game, and I thought that helped us. Um, but just try to make sure our guys didn't panic. And uh, a lot of time left. You know, it was their punch. They punched us right at the beginning of the second half, weathered it a little bit, punched us again, and certainly weathered that. And then, you know, with, withstood their run at the end to, to walk away with a nice win. Any other questions? <clears throat> yeah, you had uh, 32 points in the paint tonight. I mean, what was the key to success there against their defense? Well, we are a little different than a lot of teams in college basketball in that we, we post the ball and we play two big guys. And, you know, our, it's kind of, we kind of move our big guys in and out a little high low ish. And, uh, you know, that's, that's part of our style. And uh, we, we think our big guys are good players. And, uh, you know, when you do pressure like Alabama was pressuring us, we have more opportunity to throw it in sometimes. Uh, against the pressure. And so certainly that was part of what we talked about at different times in the game. And, uh, you know, fortunately our players are good enough to make some plays. You got to make some one-on-one -on -one plays. Their guys are really good at making one-on-one -on -one plays off the bounce. We had some guys in the post make some good plays uh, back to the basket. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you. Okay. Thank, uh, oh, it's our people. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's like Trevor Gross from yep. um, Bama really likes to, to force the other the opponents to uh, play their tempo. What? How much of an emphasis was that for you to, to be able to dictate yours? And uh, how important were, you, were the veterans on your team to be able to do that? Yeah, it was really important. Obviously, you know, we, we wanted to run some too. We weren't not trying to run at all. We're, we're playing faster than we've played in, in some instances in, in years past. Um, but we didn't want it to just become a track meet, obviously, on their court in this environment. You know, when we had some opportunities to get out, encouraged our guys to do that. But at the same time, we did have some things set up to have longer possessions. And I thought we did a nice job of mixing that. We had some plays that are, are action within our, our motion that moves the ball a little bit and, and uh, does kind of settle the game down. And so I thought our guys had a decent balance of that, and that was certainly part of the plan. A great game by Hall, obviously, 21 points, right, with his uh, league-leading average. But uh, how good was Ian tonight with his uh, 14 boards, yeah. uh, nine points? He had a couple of real big offensive rebounds yeah. that uh, got you points. Left. Yeah, I thought Ian was a stud. I mean, he was an absolute stud. Just his ability to rebound the ball. He's got phenomenal hands. He's got toughness. He's got a willingness and want to to rebound. And he's playing against good players, good athletes in there. And for him to go in there and grab 14 rebounds was a huge part of the win. They're, they're, you know, they're a good offensive rebounding team. They got too many tonight. They got 16 tonight. Obviously, when you shoot as many long shots as they shoot, there's going to be longer rebounds, which gives you more of a chance to, to get some offensive rebounds. But they coach that extremely well. And their guys are competitive that way. And, and certainly, you know, our ability to get some defensive rebounds late was, was a big key. Last for me, Coach. Um, last season, most people felt that y'all should have made the NCAA tournament, uh, but the committee pointed to your early conference uh, schedule. 
How big is a uh, road non-conference win over a ranked team like this? Yeah, it's certainly a big win. Um, but there's, you know, I, I don't want to keep talking about last year and we got a new team that has to do new things. Um, this is a great win against a terrific team that'll really help our resume. Um, you know, really kind of enough said there. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Anything else for Coach? Okay, thank you all. Take, take that or is that yeah. a... Is that a